As the murder trial of Derek Chauvin continues, there is a renewed spotlight on the police reform measures behind last year's global Black Lives Matter movement. One of the issues at the forefront is qualified immunity. Qualified immunity is an American legal principle that protects police officers and other government officials from liability even when their conduct is illegal. It shields them from going through a civil trial unless there is a prior case with identical facts. Experts say this is a high and sometimes unreasonable legal hurdle. Qualified immunity can prevent victims from seeking legal and financial remedies even if courts agree that their rights are violated by an officer. Action is underway at the local level to end the practice. The New York City Council has passed legislation aimed at making it easier to sue officers for illegal searches and excessive force. If signed by Mayor Bill de Blasio, the bill will make New York the first city to end the practice. Now activists want to make ending qualified immunity the national standard. House Democrats are joining that fight through the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act. The bill would restrict qualified immunity's application for state and local officials. Here's how Floyd's family attorney, Ben Crump, described the provision last month. They keep saying, oh, qualified immunity, that, you can't do that because that uh, denies justice to police officers. Nobody's trying to deny justice to police officers. This bill won't deny them from having their day in court. No, it won't have. But what it will do is allow black families who are grieving and heartbroken to have their day in court too. Okay, I want to bring in Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield in Vermont. They're the co-chairs of the campaign to end qualified immunity, but you might also recognize them as the co-founders of Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks for joining us on the show. Ben, I'll start with you. What is the campaign to end qualified immunity doing to try to change laws that protect officers? We are uh, a coalition of about 22 national organizations stretching from the ACLU, to uh, Americans for Prosperity and the Cato Institute. Uh, we are working to get a law passed to end qualified immunity, which essentially is this get out of jail free card for bad cops. And uh, we're working in the legislatures in various states. Uh, in addition to New York City, uh, Colorado has already overturned qualified immunity. Uh, New Mexico has passed it through both houses. Um, so people are realizing that, you know, the very people, the only people that we give the right to use lethal force in our name should be held accountable at least as much as a regular person on the street. Yeah, there's... I mean, if Can... I haul off and smack somebody, I get sued. If a cop does, he doesn't. Now, there, there are certainly growing calls to to change this policy. Jerry, I want to flip it over to you. Your website says you've received support across the political spectrum, but there's very little hope for the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act and that it will pass on Capitol Hill. What needs to be done to get Republican lawmakers to sign off on a bill that can restrict qualified immunity? I think we need to get constituents to get in touch with their legislators. I mean, as Ben said, qualified immunity is essentially an unfair and unjust doctrine. And it disproportionately affects black and brown people. Getting rid of qualified immunity is not an anti-police measure. It's trying to get some accountability for police so they are as accountable as anybody else. Plus, it will allow victims to get some justice. Now, some in law enforcement uh, claim bills to restrict qualified immunity will hurt their ability to do their jobs. Uh, let's listen to two people interviewed by our New York City station, WCBS. Every uh, bill that they put in is making it more difficult for our detectives and the police in the street to do their job. These laws, these bills are going to cause police to be less proactive. And the people that are going to suffer are the black and brown people of the inner city. How do you respond to the claims that ending qualified immunity will make it harder for officers to do their jobs? Ben, I'll flip it over to you. Uh, I think it's totally incorrect. Uh, you know, I just came out with a book uh, called Above the Law, How Qualified Immunity Protects Violent Police. 
what we see in that book is 16 stories of people who have lost their lives, who have become permanently uh, brain injured or paralyzed, not because of any kind of split second decision making that some cop had to make, but some cop just acted uh, outrageously, horrendously, and uh, was not in any threat to their lives. And they just hauled off and shot somebody seven seconds after seeing them. And the guy was not under any threat. You know, you guys made your name in ice cream. Now you're wading into police reform. Why is it important uh, to you both to use your platform through Ben and Jerry's to fight for changing qualified immunity? Well, it's important for us as individuals, but it's also important for businesses to use their voices. Business is really the most powerful force in our country. And if business is not going to stand up for justice and fairness and what's right, it's not going to happen. The people that have the power, white people, corporations, are the ones that need to make change. Some important insight. Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield, thank you.